Alright guys, so here today, um, I'm just going to show you how you upgrade your RAM, your M.2, and your um, optical drive as well on uh, MSI uh, laptop. Um, I had this thing apart quite a few times, so uh, it won't take me long to get off this cover here. You just have to remove all the screws here. Again, I haven't made a YouTube video in a while, so um, here's one for you guys, for all my followers and subscribers. Um, I'm almost at the thousand mark, so uh, hopefully I hit there soon. Um, my power's actually out right now, so the upside of being a videographer is pretty good because I have all my own LED panels and everything like that so got lots of light and you'll hear a constant noise like that in the background if you can hear it that's just my surge protector for my laptop and all my computer components so um, if I have it uh, I have a big power adapter saver, so even if I am video editing or something and the power goes out, I'm not too worried about it because it lasts me about three to four hours and that just gives me enough, enough time to finish a project or two and then I safely turn everything off. So, Okay, we're almost done here. Just got a few more. The thing that I like about this MSI notebook, which is on the majority of them as well, is the optical drive. Once you uh, um, upgrade the optical drive to a SSD or a standard hard drive, uh, it's, you can take out the one screw. And it is this guy uh, right here on the optical side. So you really only have to unscrew that one and you can pull out the optical drive and you can switch it. Um, between drives if you want. So I'm just going to use my ma magnet that I have here. It just helps me get on these a lot faster. And you'll probably s you you've probably seen a couple other videos as well with the MSI notebooks. Those ones were kind of like the older ones. Uh, one, two, three, four. There was one specific one that I didn't have undone, so, okay. So what I usually do here is I just kind of dump these ones because my magnet can reach them. So I just kind of give them a tap. And there's three of them. I think that's... So we put those ones there. And... Oh, still one more. I don't think I actually screwed that one. Sorry. Oh, no. Yes, I did. Sorry. Uh, magnet's not able to get it, so we'll just give it a good tap here. There it is. Okay, so yeah, uh, here it is here. Um, so from here, because um, I had this thing off <laughs> so many times, um, I just kind of pull from the optical drive spot, and the the back end of it comes off pretty easy. Um, Got to make sure I get my fingernails in the right spot. So there we go. Once you kind of have the one part, it all just kind of nicely comes off all together. So there it is here. Okay, so here we are. Uh, you'll see the popular one on the other channels from other guys is... There's only four copper heat pipes. Well, mine's um, the Apache Pro. Um, it's the seventh gen one. So there'll be six copper heat pipes instead of four. So um, here, as you can see, um, here's the M.2 slot here. Here's the M.2 drive. Uh, I've upgraded that already to the Samsung Evo um, 960. Uh, PCIe, so I got those extremely fast read and write speeds. I upgraded the original one terabyte hard drive for an SSD crucial. Okay, and I've also upgraded. I got rid of the optical uh, optical drive, which I'm just going to slide out here. This is all it is. 
So here it is, and then you can put your hard drive in the optical um, optical optical caddy drive. So um, I'm just going to be right back. I'll show you the old optical drive. Okay. So here's the old optical drive. Um, there's the connectors up here, which you can see, which is pretty much the same as this. Okay. So here's the caddy, and here's the optical drive. So if I want, I can just plug this back in like that and just like that okay and then I got the optical drive back in then I would screw it in of course afterwards but we're not too worried about that okay um, but also I don't have a use for optical drive so that's why I upgraded to the caddy as well and put an SSD in here as well okay so uh, we can put that back like that because I have already been upgraded that and done so we slide that back in and the cover comes off as well. You kind of have to take this apart. It's very easy. There's two screws in it. You just um, kind of take it apart. It's super simple. And then you can take off the cover on the side so it goes back onto the, your aftermarket caddy here. So, and this caddy was only like $13, so it's super cheap. And you can still get your SATA 3 inside and connect it. So, um, over here we had our older. Um, hard drive here obviously so this is my older hard disk hard uh, hard drive so I swapped that out and put the SSD in there as well okay and then here is um, my old M.2 this was the Kingston um, one so I replaced that transferred everything actually I didn't transfer everything I cloned the drive but I didn't really have a success so I just did a whole clean fresh install so um yeah so we're gonna update uh upgrade our ram now um i got the crucial ballistics um this originally comes with 16 gigs of ddr4 at 2400 i called msi and they recommend me to get this which is the 32 gig gigabytes 16 gigs times two ddr4 at 2666 so um yeah so let's do that um i'm not uh staticky or anything so i've already kind of grounded myself out so we're going to apparently all you have to do is pull these tabs here and they just kind of pop up like that so you slide it out okay just set that right here and you do the same over here you just kind of pop these tabs in or pop them out and then it comes out just like that and slide it out okay that's it come in here now open up the nice new crucial ballistics I haven't even opened it yet so we'll there we go I'll just push this down so you can kind of see everything here um, here's the CPU here's the GPU this one's equipped with the GTX 1050 Ti, so I got the four gigabytes of RAM for the graphics card. Now I'm going to have 32 gigs, um, 32 gigs now for my RAM. All right, so here we go. Here, I'll just take out one here. Now just got to make sure they match up, and everything's good. 260 pin, yes. So. Um, put them in on an angle like that and then all you apparently do is just kind of press down and they'll lock in just like that so uh, I just kind of want to read the specs on here 8 gigs PC4 2400 hmm. it doesn't really say which brand these are oh SK Hynix so um, I've seen them when I was ordering them online but um, I had a special on eBay to save 20% on my order, so I went and ordered these because these are uh, really expensive. So um, stick it in there like that, press down, and we have the RAM now installed. So I'm going to take these, these are just the factory ones. I, I kept all my old stuff, of course, in case if I ever wanted to sell. And you get the odd guy who wants everything how it was and how it came. So I still have my old optical drive and old M.2 drive. I'll have my RAM now as well. So um, I probably won't be selling this. This will be a good spare one when I do my when I do my own PC uh, 
custom build in a few months. Um, yeah, so if you want, we'll just go over this again. Here's the upgraded optical drive from, um, from pretty much, well, I'm sorry, optical drive upgraded to a hard drive now. Okay. Uh, M.2 drive upgraded to a 500 gigabyte Evo, um, PCIe, uh, upgraded the original one terabyte hard drive to a one, one terabyte crucial SSD. And we just upgraded the, the RAM now from 16 gigabytes to 32 gigs. So, um, yeah, uh, there's all these other components here. Here's the speaker, four speakers and the one subwoofer. I think there's a subwoofer in here somewhere. I think it's on the back side. I'm not too sure exactly where. So, um, other than that, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how the back of these MSI, um, laptops look. Um, I'm not too sure what else I can kind of tell or explain here, but that's pretty much everything. Um, oh yeah, here's the subwoofer here. Sorry, I just saw it now. Um, yeah, so again, um, optical drive, super easy to do if you're just looking to just get an extra storage space. You don't use that as much. Um, very easy to take out and very easy. So your SATA 3 connections in here, obviously, so that just slides in there and goes. And then, um, yeah. Um, speed wise, um, I did do read and write speeds and the actual SATA 3 connection is a little bit faster than it is through the optical drive as about a hundred megabytes off. So, I mean, the SSDs were still pretty fast, but the optical drive will be a little bit slower, but again, like that's a lot faster than your original, um, spinning hard drive. So, um, yeah, that's everything. Um, here's the battery pack here. Uh, we're all done. Got my RAM upgraded. Um, that's pretty much it. So we're going to just slide this back on now. Just like that. I kind of like to put this side a little bit over actually because this is the side that always kind of gets caught on the, all of the USB uh, ports and stuff like that because there's about four on here. So. Other than that, I can't really think of um, anything else that you would really want to do because it is just a laptop after all. But if you're looking to get that extra speed and performance and a laptop's just more ideal for me because um, I have a, a cabin that I go to sometimes. So it's easier for me to carry on, uh, carry a laptop than it is a whole custom built PC that I'm going to be doing. So. So if you see here, there's a nice, it's nice and smooth in, so it doesn't blend in. And this is what I'm talking about. It's hot swappable. So once you have that screw out, um, you can slide this out and you can um, pretty much put, um, you can quickly take it out and put back in a different hard drive if you have to do or whatever the case may be so yeah um other than that uh, that's pretty much it i'm just going to put the screws back in and turn it on and that's pretty much it so uh thanks for watching and uh feel free to comment and ask some questions about it uh this is the apache pro um from 2017 so it is the pretty late model of them so this is how majority of them will look um yeah if you have any questions or comments Feel free to answer. Thanks for watching.